No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today, we got Lucky X in the motherfucking building. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> what up? Chicago in the motherfucking building. How you doing, bro? I'm good, bro. What you on? I'm doing great. I was fucking partying my ass off in Vegas all weekend, so I'm feeling like a fucking million bucks. <laughs> I'm feeling like half of a million. <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? What's half a million feel like right now? I don't know. Just cold. No, just fucking around. I was talking shit. Yeah, I know you're talking shit. I was going to say my first corny... Um, Rapper thing in the interview, but I'm gonna save it for later. What are you gonna do? You're gonna say you're 300? Oh, you are codeined up. I'm gonna say that for later. Damn, two coffee cups with no coffee. Uh, That's what I'm guessing. Yeah, sometimes I really, I low key hate um, double cupping because it look like on some corny shit. Because dudes be doing it for fashion too much. Yeah, then I be trying to like really use one cup, but that shit just be getting too thin and I be salty. And it starts to feel gross, right? Because I deteriorate and whatever. Yeah, Yeah, it's all good. So some things are just classics, you know? There's just certain things that you you can't deny yourself, such as the double cup. It looks cool, it's effective. My bad. No, it's it's all good. So, um, what are you out here in LA for? You you still live in Chicago, right? No, no, no. I just came out here. I just moved out here. You just moved out here. So, where'd you move to? Uh, um, I live uh, exact I live address with, so the kids can visit you at home, please. Um, I should get dude, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say some funny shit, but nah, I live around Hollywood. My bad, I'm talking too much. Oh, you do live, live near Hollywood. Yeah, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. So you decided to make the big move. Why why why'd you decide to do that? Because um, I gotta um lock in. It ain't really shit for me doing Chicago either no more. I'm is, over that. Yeah. Is that the vibe? It's kind of it's kind of dead out there. Like yeah, it's dead. Yeah. That's how you feel, really? Yeah, it's really dead. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like. I guess new kids coming up and shit. I don't really be trying to mix with them. Yeah. Dead out there, yeah. You've been been around all that shit for too long. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was talking to Andrew Barber, who's a good (laughs) friend of mine earlier today, and his his description of you was basically, he goes, that kid emailed me and I just looked at it randomly and then I had to, I had him in the office the next day because I just knew there was something about him. Is that, uh, does that sound about right? All right, there was his, um, what was his description of me today? Be honest, be honest. On me in 2017. He just said you're a beast. He said, he said, I'm really, really glad that you're fucking with him. Uh, oh yeah, that's that's pretty fire though. Me and Andrew Bobby used to be real close. Um, Cause you know, he was your manager, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's one of the. He told me when I was like sixteen. He told me I, he told me I was the best rapper in, in Chicago when I was sixteen. When you were sixteen. And, and Facial Drive, if you're from Chicago. Mm-hmm. Facial Drive is a, like. That's the spot to that's be the, at. Not that's the, not even the spot to be at. Like the blog, that's that's the one to be on. Mm-hmm. That shit don't really matter. I mean, that still matter. Facial Drive should matter, but like the blog politics, that shit don't really matter no more. So at the time I was like 16, I was rapping and shit, seeing everybody chance on um, fake show job and all that. I got on there, it was a rap, it was a rap. Mm-hmm. So I was like, then I started linking up with it. We started talking all the time. I was really fucking with it. That's crazy, yeah. It's pretty wild because like today, all right. So my boy Hesh, Hesh N Word, as as the as his uh, Twitter name is, he basically it just plays your shit around me like so much over the past like six months to a year that I just like had to become a fan. It was that kind of effect, you know, where your, your, your friend's favorite rapper becomes your favorite rapper. Yeah, I know exactly what you're So, but then today, like I was, you know, today driving back from Vegas, I was listening to your SoundCloud for like two hours straight, just listening to everything. And I totally thought that I had your like style kind of figured out. But then my fucking boy, uh, Ned Arb, you know, Ned, Ned Arb Nagrom, Make a, he makes all the beats and shit. He hit me up and said that Alternative Trap was his favorite fucking mixtape in 2013. So then I go back and I start listening to that shit. And I'm like, whoa, this dude has fucking evolved like crazy over the past few years. So w- was that like, did, had that project just came out when you first started fucking with Andrew Barber? Yeah, that, that project, when, no. Well, yeah, it was. it came out when I was not fucking with him, but... Andrew Barber wasn't my manager at that time when that project came out. Okay. Cause Scott Vanner was my manager. Cause I was like in New York, people don't know. It's like I came. I was like I um like cause I'm shit cracking. I'm popping. It. Um, it's like I blow up twice like the Migos. You know I ain't blow up, but you know what I'm saying. It's like uh, it's like I, like I like re. I'm back like going hard as hell. Like people people been think I'm signed all 2017. But, um, Wait, so you feel like you fell off for a while? You fell back yeah, at least? Yeah, I'm, I'm, we'll, we'll, yeah. We're going to get to that. Though. Oh, oh, okay. What, what did you just ask me? Um, oh, I was just asking about like where you were at when at that moment where Andrew first recognized you. Like, What, what uh, part, yeah, yeah, part of your yeah. career were you um, at? It was like I was still in school and shit. I was like a sophomore. And I was a junior, like beginning of junior. So, so I was like... Um, yeah, I was. That shit was just crazy for me because he was like the he was like the key gate to the city. Because at right. the time it seemed like he put Chief Keef on, mm-hmm. put Chance on. So you feel me? It was just like. So it was was 
Keith a huge inspiration to you or was Chance? Because it's like, I know everybody always wants to try to compare you yeah. to either of them. Yeah. But people can compare it. People could, because it's like, it's actually, when I first started rapping, it was actually like Keith mixed with Chance. Like, right. Like the cadences type shit. Because mm-hmm. I used to be, me and Chance, like, I came up with Chance type shit. Like, right. Like, like, but you knew him or you were yeah. just like worse? Okay, I didn't yeah. even know that you actually like knew him like yeah, that. Yeah, you saw that me and Chance got a song. No, I know the yeah, song, yeah. yeah. Bro, me and Chance really like know each other. I know Chance's little brother. Like, oh, okay. man, I know Chance's father, bro, Mr. How Bennett. Like, me and Chance's father has been cool. Like, like, no, like no homo been date, like, like on a date, like, no, like, like that, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the people call it. Hanging we, out. Yeah, like, 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 on, like scheduled to meet up type shit. Like, right. That's my man's. Like, I really fuck with Chance, bro. That's crazy. So, how did you know him as as a young kid? It used to be this um, this like this open mic center, but no nobody really go for an open mic shit. It was like some people did, but it was like you media. It was just really like a networking thing. It was like you ever, you ever heard Ken Bay? You ever heard Ken Bay? Um, uh-huh. Alex, you, know, you ever heard of Ken Bay? Oh wait, yeah. Yeah, Alex Wiley. Mick Jenkins, Saba Pivot. Okay, um, so it was just like the spot, and yeah. he was just one of the dudes who was there. Or was yeah, he already? Chance, huge? Yeah, Chance was there. He was um, he used to be part of his group called Instrumentality. Uh huh. My man's talent was the other other um, group, on the other, um like the other part of the group, and um they I heard I just like talent was telling me about him, and then um I heard that shit. I just saw him performing. It was just, he performed the same way in front of an open mic crowd, and, and, and I hear watching the library. Uh huh. Shit was crazy. He's always be rapping and shit. And as soon as I went home, I started writing. I, like, not even on no Quinny shit. I started just writing, trying to, like, write, like, like write rap. That's why I, when I first started rapping, I was writing slow. I, I mean, my raps were slow because I was writing, but it was, like, I was writing that from, like, poetry. Uh-huh. Like, because, like, people was, like, poets there. Like, so I was, like, one and one and uh, from the, and uh, Like, I was, like, that was, I was just, writing, like, that's what my cadence was like that. Then I was, like, have you ever got, you ever heard of that DJ program, DJ, um, some DJ program, I used to slow the beat down okay. so I can catch the pace, so I catch the tempo and write to it. That's why my music used to be slow, and I used to worry. Like, I used to worry if I was rapping too fast going off, somebody that I know it here would be like, I was just, I would be real shy. Somebody would be like, look, like, I used to be shy about it. It's just weird, like, <laughs> thinking I'm doing too much. So you so, come from, from that kind of scene of, like, sort of hanging out around, like, that, that local venue, so a bunch of local talent sort of came from that scene, you're saying? Exactly. But I was like, we was like, me and my friends was like, niggas that was like, and then my niggas was rapping and shit. We were like we was like just there, like some of my niggas there for friends and like like my niggas and like chance behind the scene niggas and like save money. Like niggas used to go like wild and shit. Like that's how we all we all came up doing crazy shit together. Like chance is a chance a, a, a great godly Christian man now. <laughs> but, but back in the day he went he went wild and nothing, but he was that nigga. Chance. Really? So he was a, a little bit wild at the time. You're saying? Not wild, but he was. So he got he famous and rich, kid. and he cleaned his act up a little bit. Nah, bro. He, like, yeah, like that. he already was his his act always was cleaned up. It's just like when you think about it, when you like um, when shit keep happening to you so fast, and yeah. like like when nigga like him, he was going around wearing the same shoes every day, and his people didn't even broke. But it's like he didn't care about dressing up. So like when shit happened for you like that so fast like. Cause like with Chance, like you already, it's like you knew he was gonna be famous. So it shit happened like you that. You really knew as soon as you met him, bro. I'm trying to tell you, I went, I saw that shit, bro. It was like he was famous already to me, bro. Really? Like so it was like he, it's like that's why he, that's probably that's why he do that. He really appreciate God right now. That's uh-huh. really that's that's all it is. Like, well, if you're in his position where you have that insane wave of success, it's almost like. All of a sudden, you could have, you know, if you do drugs, you could have infinity drugs. Yeah, if you fuck drugs, with bitches, you, know? you could have infinity bitches. So it's like you kind of need to make a decision what you're going to do at that point because you, you either are going to fucking get get in deep with that shit. Bro, Chance, not even though, like, he a Christian, but he not know, like, like, that, like, like I, don't, I don't know. He's with the shits. It, nah, he's still, like, Chance is, like, he a regular person. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, even though Christians are regular people, I'm just saying, like, he just... He probably right, he just he just giving God like giving God the glory. He appreciate God like mm-hmm. that shit happened to him fast as fuck. You ever do a Zan with Chance? Easy. Like yeah, in the day, but yeah, bro. Chance Exclusive, is, Chance, bro. Like because <laughs> yeah, he said he said like, something about that on the song, doesn't he? He said like bro, when we did the song, me and Chance was both off of Zan, bro. Really? Yeah, bro. That's the most he amazing do, thing I like, ever that's heard. What I'm saying like Chance is like he don't do like he, he definitely probably don't do drugs no more, but he don't, bro. Chance was. That's a that's a good dude, a regular person. Okay, so let me ask you this though: Did Chief my bad Keith... chance if I just said too much? My bad. <laughs> that's all right. That was back in the day. Mm-hmm. Uh, but so did Chief Keith? He said at one point on Instagram that you were on Glow Gang. Did that really happen? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? How that, did that, that happen? Was he off of Zane as well? <laughs> <laughs> that all happened the same day. Um, same day? Um, I met, no, not oh, me and Chance made that song. Because um, I, I was with Chop, and Chop, me and Chop was instantly like, him, me, Chop, and Pluto. You know, my producer, Pluto mm-hmm. Nash. Should we you get a little closer to the mic, sorry. My bad. We, uh, me, Chop, and Pluto, my producer, Pluto Nash, we all just like linked, like clicked instantly. So mm-hmm. after the session with Chance, we just went to the, um, another studio session. We went to the Chop studio, which went with him. And uh, Chop, like Chief Keith, like my fa- was my favorite rapper at the time in high school, like like the melodies, all that shit. That's what I first fell in love with Xanax too, like Almighty <laughs> So. So so bad influence. Yeah. What are you doing to the kids out here, man? No, nah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So I um I met Keith. I mean I did um Facetime Keith. Me and my man Sabat, my my, my little brother Sabat, we just we just looking at each other like, are you serious? Keith on the phone. We like seventeen, off hella fucking bars. <laughs> Hella bars, just fucked up. It's like at that point of the night, Pluto working. Like, and, um, Keith was like, I take my number. And then I just, I was hitting him. I used to hit him up all the time, all the time. He used to get annoyed, but he stayed. He, he, he fucking with me though. Like, um, cause you remember when and he got? Remember um, he um, left in the scope. Yeah. Remember that te- text messages that was um, that was like that was, that was like. He posted some. That some, was me. Oh, and what were you saying to him? And I was like. I was texting. I was like, I was like being a little bug. I'm like, I was, but I'm like, bro, because this. That's when I knew he was being like, he wasn't being lazy, but he was just like, I knew he had to be in his head. I knew he had to hear something smart from somebody smart, like, cause he be around too many yes people all the time. That's how you feel. Like, or like, not not yes people, or just like people that just think the same as him, so mm-hmm. they don't see no problem with like change. Right. So I was like, bro, you gotta get on that shit. And then he was like, I knew he appreciated it because he had texted me like after that. He was like. I'm, he was like, on blood, um, I fuck with you forever. But so he went down a very different path. He could have been the commercial artist. He could have exactly. done he a lot of things. Exactly. He became like the le- like a, like the underground legend. Yeah. I, that's amazing. But do you look at that and do you think that he kind of fucked up? Or do you look at that and you think that that was, that was beautiful? Hell, no, I don't think he fucked up, bro. I was just... Cause, but I, like, I, I honestly, I was a Chief Keef stand. So he's doing, no, 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 we, all, we all were slash yeah, exa- are. Exactly. That's but, what I'm saying. Wait, so did you see the rise of Chief Keef? You were probably so fucking young no, when he, you were when no. he started blowing up. I was the same age as him. I was oh, like you a year same younger age. than him. Okay. Bro, bro I'm That's so Chicago. crazy. You had the front seat. Because I remember... I, sorry. I'm getting really excited. I, I remember reading about, like, uh, you know, how it, it 100% came from the high schools. Was that like your experience that like his whole wave came from that? And did that inspire like a million other motherfuckers that you know like to start rapping? Bro, I'm from, I, I'm, I kept saying I'm from Chicago, but I'm from like, I'm from Chicago. I'm from the west side. I okay. keep from the south side. Mm-hmm. My friend's from the south side. I go, I'm with the school, and they're like, cause I'm from the edge of the city, like the last block, Austin. So like, it's the birds over there in the city right here. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I went to school in the suburbs. So, I didn't nobody know about Chief Keef in my school. Oh. So, I told everybody about Chief Keef in my school. I'm like, bro, this shit is crazy. This nigga from out south. Because all my friends from out south, like, like Chance, they're from out, like, but Chance, they one of my immediate friends. That's one of my friends. But my, all my mans, them, they from out south. So, it's like, I, like, when we found out about Keef, we like, damn, we like, we hear, like, we out, like, everybody from Chicago, like, you know about, you, niggas already knew about, like, like, old block, like, like back then it was Brick City. Like we we always knew about them. So it was like then these niggas rapping in shit like and then like the climax Chicago shit started. That shit really changed Chicago. <laughs> Chief Keith really changed Chicago. It's niggas that used to be jerking, bro. <laughs> yeah, that was the whole tell you, new era. Huh? Used to be jerking. I'm trying to tell you after 2013 before like late late 2012 niggas started having dreads when they faced the um, Nike windbreakers, bro. The hoodies tied on my granny, bro, niggas. <laughs> Niggas was tweaking in Chicago. That's really what got niggas smoke, bro. Wow. I'm dead shit. That's why, like, like Keith, and that ain't got, and that's not on Keith fault, because he was just, bro, he was a shorty, and he was making music. But, well, he was uh, talking about the shit that was happening. Nah, yeah. bro, he was just, bro, he was just, it's the art of war, bro. Like, right. Not like, I, not like I'm promoting that shit, because I don't really care about none of that shit. What, do you look at that era, and are you, like, shocked by the level of violence that bro, you were around? Chicago is just as bad right now. It's just as bad now, yeah. Yeah, it's probably worse. But that's what Trump says too. Yeah, <laughs> Trump said he was gonna send in the FBI. But what I was just saying, I forgot what I was just saying. DJ Academics versus Trump. Just kidding. <laughs> Chirac Savages. You never, but Chief Keef, uh, he he inspired you to do a lot of drugs, but he didn't inspire you to like go get a Draco and like start shooting up exactly. like the, the t- little exactly, kids or bro. something. <laughs> Exactly. So, they like, just made niggas start, made niggas start tweaking. But were you ever that guy? Were you ever like super, super like? Because I, I hear a lot of uh, gang references on your songs. To be honest, mm-hmm. was that always like I don't know, part bro. of life for you or not? Never, would, I would never with that shit. 
Like, the niggas like, got friends with that shit, but I ain't with that shit, bro. But niggas know what's up with me, bro. Niggas know not to. Like, that's why all these niggas are not like these like, underground lanes. Niggas know. Niggas know what's up with me, bro. I ain't. I ain't with that game banging shit, though. Right. That shit really lame to me, because niggas be dying. Like, that shit is lame. Like, yeah. Niggas, niggas, niggas out here game banging. Niggas that game bang, I'm not calling what they do is lame because niggas lost brothers, so they they out here you know sliding and shit. But right. you out here niggas out here banging for blocks, bro, for 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 for, for blocks owned by the government. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit don't even make sense to me. That's good. So you were, were you always were just like the dude who was nah, just bro, real was real laid always, back. Nah, hell. Has that bro. always been your vibe? Bro, I was like a Ms. tweaker, bro. The guy. I was a tweaker, bro. Like what I do you mean like, by that? Like I was like. Niggas, like, niggas was wild and bro. We just wasn't game banging type uh-huh. shit. You feel me? Right. Like you ever, like you ever seen, uh, kid? Like I don't want to say kids, but it was exactly like that, bro. Cause we used to be on 48th, took over this nigga crib. Cause his mom left him the crib. It was just not, his nigga had to be like 18 when we was like 14. Just took over his crib, spray paint on the walls and shit. Used to piss off the same disciples. That's um the Mexican um. As these by um, um, over there, like on Union, uh-huh. we used to be over there every fucking day faithfully, bro. That's the only, that's the only thing I ever claim for the forty eight. And like you know, all these niggas, all these niggas claiming that hundred shit. Yeah. Like bro, these bro, that shit be so like I don't even know what that shit be, bro. <laughs> like that shit be made up, bro. Niggas be making shit up. Is that a problem in Chicago? No, like I don't know. In Chicago, nigga, that shit be standing for blocks, like because the block would be like. Like yeah, yeah like, if, if you want 89, it'd be 8,900. Something. I'm just gonna go look and see what that. Did something just fall over? Was that the scale? Uh, yeah, it's a scale. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn the scale. Weigh it on the scale. That's a that's a scale for sending out shirts, not. Well yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Anything else? Like niggas don't really be on. <laughs> that's what we weigh our keys of coke on. Me and Lucky. Um, <laughs> hey, but you know. Oh, well, DJ Vlad. Let me go back to <laughs> the Fed gang. I'm gonna start. Okay, so uh, hitting a stain. What's that like? The There's stain, a DJ Vlad question. <laughs> Stand like getting that shit, getting that shit, and getting the fuck out of there. Oh, okay. Make you, sure everything goes smooth. Goes smoothly, and then no. don't don't confess to your body on a podcast at a later date. A Rule body, number one. A body ain't got nothing to do with murder. <laughs> I mean, a stain ain't got nothing to do with a murder. Well, what does it mean when you say it? Stain, niggas, stain mean like, taking something from a nigga. Okay, I like, thought a stain taking, was like, a body. Stain? Oh, you Am talking I, about a bitch? No, a stain like killing like, somebody. When I was a shorty, stain meant for, like like I stained that bitch, yeah, but. Oh, uh, okay. But, Okay. Stain, yeah, stain. All oh, these niggas be doing that shit. I'm a cultural tourist over here. I'm trying to figure it out. Trying to take, nigga, like, take something. Somebody. Okay, but this is what I wanted to say when we started talking about Chief Keith, though, is that you are in a, a somewhat similar position to him where you could play the game. Like, you could fucking go for trying to be like a pop star, of, you know, mainstream, like with him and Interscope. Like, you could definitely do that. Like, you mm-hmm. probably could go in a much more commercial direction and shit, but instead, it seems like most of the time, when you're putting stuff out, you're, you're you're in your own fucking lane. It doesn't seem like you're taking direction from like yeah, a label. Yeah, I can and put shit. something on myself when no blog premiere and then because Fader just premiered on my video. Mm-hmm. I fuck with them for that. Thank you, but I really don't like doing stuff like that because I could put that shit on Twitter like I did the Leave With You video, but like when Pluto and Clams and they got a million impressions in mm-hmm. a month and like um, should say like f- like four hundred thousand views. Mm-hmm. I could do that shit on myself. I could put that shit on my SoundCloud and that shit get. Um, two hundred thousand plays in a month. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, show makes sense. I don't like show. Really, like, it's not really about nothing. If it's all organic, I still see all the fans. I look up my name on Twitter, still see all the fans. Like, it's not no not, not um narcissistic, but that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. People try to say that though. You're and, narcissistic it, if you it, look it, up like, your own name. Not Fuck that. That's not what that's it is. just being that's curious. Like, that's, no, no, it's not even. That's my <laughs> engine. It's like, it's, like I know how to really work this shit. I know how to oh, work yeah. this social media shit. Do you feel like that's always been a strength for you? It, I really know how to work this shit. Mm-hmm. Like when I be like when I used to be trolling and shit, I slowed down with the shit because niggas be in their feelings. But I really know how to work this shit. What, what kind of trolling have you done? Nah, I just be like, um, I don't really, cause I don't, cause some people would like really take pride in trolling. So I just be like sarcastic type shit. Mm-hmm. I don't really, you know what I mean? That's why you can't respond to anybody is because they're all trolling. Like you read a question that you think is really stupid, and then you, it's a bad exactly, idea to respond exactly, because exactly. you know they're probably trying exactly. to get to you. Motherfuckers had you a few weeks. Ago. <laughs> we ain't even gonna talk about that because only one thing. Like, Which one are you talking about? The hackers? Yeah, only one. Only oh my one god! Know they still got Slump God. They still got Uno. Oh no, that's why I meant Uno. Yeah, the yeah, Slump God guy's yeah, back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Slump God was just like two week, two weeks ago. I was around. Poor guy. Some he was like, he's like, I disrespect him. I respect him. King XTM. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's out here shouting on my hacker, yeah, you bastard. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> here shouting. That's what's fucked up. I was actually at the studio. Oh, God, I hate that we're giving him clout. But I was at the studio the other day, and we were all talking about that fool. And yeah. everybody in the studio knew about him. And I'm yeah, like, how was, the hell are you going to be a famous also, hacker? Yeah, I was well, um, <laughs> just in the studio like three days ago. Um, it was me, you know, um, um, Chris Travis and um, Xavier Wolf. Were you at Big East? That yeah, Big that's East. That's where I was, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and that, yeah, that's the um, that's the ghost of Big E's studio right there. Yeah, Big E. He's a fucking icon. <laughs> yeah, and, but you know what's funny is that he looks like he's white, and he said the N-word in the video that I made with him, and, and a bunch of people were, like, tripping out. Be tripping and I said something about he's like, start he, with Big e, he's like, man, I'm Mexican. Fuck that. <laughs> 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 you got the rare-ass merch right here with the OzFest shirt, dude. I'm kind of hating on you right now. I'm jealous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. shit's fire. I find that shit somewhere else. <laughs> Hey, but you know what? That's crazy. When you're talking about Keith that, that, or, or your career, it's really like, what do you want? Like, what do you want out of life? Because you could spend all your time go, doing whatever to get the money up, or you could, like, focus on the art, you know? And it's like, Keith, he, he's a person who couldn't even play the game, you know, because he's just not that kind of person who can right. fucking be a corporate dude, you know? I really just know I'm, like, built for this type of shit. Right. You feel me? Like, I know how to be funny with people. I know how to be a character. Right. I know I'm built for this shit. So this is, <laughs> I like that confidence. You know what I'm saying? It's not that's confidence, but I don't, I think some shit like when you just have like that confidence, you my man's. But I think shit like that be corny. What? Like like we need to be like I just be humble like that shit. You know what I'm <laughs> I ain't, like like. You can't like can't be humble, bro. You gotta win, bro. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like that's how I feel. It's like. I was very, very, very honest about it for all those years that I wasn't shit. So it's like, how am I start, supposed to start lying and, and downplaying myself once I start getting to where I wanted to go all those years? How am I going to start lying now? You know, and, that, and that's what I don't understand about how people could be like, oh, yeah, be humble, be humble. It's like, I, I'm being honest, and I was yeah, being honest, honest before, exactly. too. Yeah. If anything, I, I think I'm you, trying to... You be talking like you. Be talk that's why I fuck with you, because then you be like... I think that's why rappers like me. And I think, actually, that's what's got me fucked up, is I hang out with too many rappers. And now I think it's normal to be like, yeah, I'm the shit, blah, blah, blah. I talk about myself like I'm feeling myself, because exactly. rappers do it exactly. too much. Exactly. Exactly. And then white people are always looking at me like, what the fuck is wrong? Like, the way that I talk to girls sometimes, and I just forget that I'm out of my fucking mind. And that I could just be so fucking disrespectful and just say everything oh, that yeah, I think. In LA, like, I don't really be, <laughs> yeah, LA niggas just be talking to girls so crazy. You think? Like, like not saying like I'm some type of like um, feminist, you know? I just be like. <laughs> I like you as a feminist. Let's stick with that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like, nah, not like I'm anti. I'm just like, the way niggas be, I'll be like, damn, I thought I'd be crazy. The way niggas talk to girls, it'd be crazy. It's yeah. competitive out here, man. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, what's that shit here? Oh, hold up. Because it was hella, it was some shit. Funniest one. Yeah, actually, ask me on Twitter. Oh, look at them two phones. I got a bunch of uh, a bunch of fan questions that I thought were pretty pretty interesting. I'm find this shit. They were they were. Um, oh yeah, some some kid basically inferred that you have uh, fought somebody and saved money before. So that's I'm trying to get to the beef right there. Vic Mensa, Joey Perp, one of them, something like that happened. I ain't never fought Vic. Um, Joey, my dude, but we did fight, but it wasn't no one on one shit. Uh -oh. It was just um. That nigga know who won that one. We used to say money. We used to shorty say money used to, um, we used to be into out with them all the time, bro. Oh, okay. Like, so this is old shit? This old shit. It's from happening. Like, this day. I remember that shit was the day that nigga, um, that nigga that killed Trayvon Martin got acquitted. Oh, really? It was at this really? party somewhere. But jo Joey Perry didn't get beat up because he beat up one of, it was like one of this fat nigga I was with. He beat his ass. <laughs> and Joey Perry was just a known person there. with hella niggas there. We just beat the shit out of the, like the like the other niggas and then one of like man I got I got cool at most of them after them but some of the ass that beat the fuck out of them. okay but it, most some of the ass want to save money either but that's but that's cool. not like an active beef or anything that this that kid shit, like, how does this kid even know about it that shit like everybody know about that shit Chicago. oh okay that shit old as hell no okay. it was like I was still rapping around the time and I was and I was on Twitter about it after right but yeah like. That nigga know who won that one. <laughs> <laughs> I like the smile on your face right now. Hey, let's talk about you being like probably one of the like I have a conspiracy theory in my head that you might have been like employed by the Xanax industry to like <laughs> spread awareness of, of the Zans. Let's just talk about that because your music, it sounds like you're off the Zans in your music. It is often about being on the Zans in your music. What, when, what was it like when you got into this? And, and Look, do you still do them? Some kids said that you might have quit. I, yeah, I quit Zans. 100%? But you're still on the drink. 
I hundred percent. I still don't drink. Yeah, but I quit Xanax because Xanax fuck with your emotions and shit. They really and do. It's like that. Had me in the hospital. It got that on, bad. Yeah, I ain't been on Xanax. Like I ain't been on Xanax strong. And but I used to. You don't know what I mean. I used to really do like eight bars, to, like at least eight bars, at least eight bars a day. Like, at least. Yeah, and I used to. Go, my tolerance was so high. If I was off like like six bars, three bars, I'd be like, I'd be. Just, I got. That's why I was popping so many because I'd be like, I'm not even high. Like I used to be so. I used to be so fucking. Zanned out, and I, and I see somebody next to me, like slumped, fucked up, like his friends trying to tug him, like wake up type shit. I used to be jealous. You were that guy? I was jealous. And, no, I was, je- yeah, I was. Oh, you were jealous of somebody jealous else who was passing out? That, that ass, bro. What the fuck? I was okay. How'd you get so bad with it, and how'd you stop? Did you have to go to rehab? Uh, no, I didn't have to go to rehab because I really, bro, I ain't saying like I'm super strong. It's just like, I think I'm just, I don't want to stop something I can stop. It. And, but how, how long were you, were you bad with him? It's like, Two years. Two years yeah, straight. I was crazy. Oh, shit. That's why I, I was tripping, bro. Cause I, I, that's why I feel like I'm like like a second. That's why I feel like I, w- I was dried out. That's why oh, so did that fuck your music career up? It didn't fuck it up. I just fuck her relationships up. Like you know, XL. That's why I, I had the songs with FK Twigs, all that back in the day before. Like, but they stopped fucking with you because of that stuff. No, they didn't stop fucking with me. I just stopped fucking with them. Oh. But I was like an idiot though. You see what I'm saying? Like Scott Venner was my first manager. Like I left that. I was just being dumb. I was uh-huh. just like, I didn't even know. I was just being, actually being retarded. Yeah, I mean, when you're that young I and you're fucking around with a drug that fucking powerful, shit. it's just like yeah. anything could happen. Like, it's amazing that you even were able to make it out of that, to be honest. And But isn't it like the hardest fucking drug in the world to come off of Bro, when you're that you, fucking addicted to it? I look, because I just realized what happened to me. So, like, I was like sleeping light but dreaming hard as hell. So I was reacting off that shit. Cause sleeping I, light but dreaming hard as hell? Yeah, so I was like dreaming like and believing my dreams and shit. You feel oh, me? so you couldn't tell the difference between reality and, and yeah, your dreams? Yeah, yeah. I've heard that before. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Cause see, because I know, because now I know, because when I'm like when I'm leaning, I be I be dreaming, right? Mm-hmm. And I wake up, and I be like, and then when I wake up, and now and like I wake up for a little bit, and then go back to sleep, and then and then like and it all just kind of becomes a blur, huh? No, 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 and then I and then I and then I, like when I wake up for real, my bad, I keep um, stuttering, but when I wake <laughs> up for real again. I realized that I was just dreaming. I realized that, like, oh, I was just... Because I, like, the first time I wake up, I st- I'll be reacting off that dream. And I'll be realizing, oh, that's what that high do. Mm. So I was, like, I was so bad with getting high, bro. I was doing that shit so much, bro. Like, so fucking much. Like, around, like, around this time last year, it was, like, the lowest point in my life. Like, not like I was, like, struggling or nothing. I was just getting so fucked up, bro. And I was... I just psyched out for, like, four days straight. And I just had to go to the hospital for, like, a week. I was tripping. Damn. But was it? Doesn't it take like months for you to feel normal after that shit? Hell yeah, bro! Yeah. I was, bro! I was, damn it, bro! The whole summer, bro! I was like, bro! I did a tour, bro! I was, just, I was like, I was myself. I was, I was, like, I wasn't tripping no more, but I wasn't myself, bro. Do you like not even remember huge chunks of time during all that? I don't remember hella shit, but I, I don't remember hella shit. But I remember shit though. But I remember that whole time. I remember everything that happened to that shit. So do you? How often do you drink lean? Uh, Every day. <laughs> <laughs> did did it replace the Zans or is it is it better? Is it healthier? No, nah, it ain't replace. I just be liking the way that shit feel. Yeah. I just, you know what I'm saying? Like I just like how that shit. It ain't. I don't know. I I think I used to like doing Zans because I never. I promised to God. I don't because I don't know what's up with other people, but I, I think it was easy for me to stop doing Zans too because I never did a Zan by myself. Uh huh. See what I'm saying? I never did Zan. It was always what in the studio environment like, like, type like, thing. It's always like in the social environment. Mm-hmm. Like how people do coke in a social environment. You do coke? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Mm-hmm. I never. I, I did coke, like, but I never like was a coke person. Like, mm-hmm. I, ne- I don't do coke at all, though. Based on the hangover I that I have today, I would say don't do coke. I never do coke again. <laughs> yeah, I did coke before, and my nose was like tripped out. I was. Like, I was making a video yesterday, and they could all see the coke inside my nose in the video, and they're all calling me out. <laughs> <laughs> you know they was like. Whoops. Your <laughs> yeah. Sorry, kids. Welcome to the reality. Uh, Hey, so why you love Kurt Cobain so much? That's one thing a lot of people wanted to ask about. Yeah. His I like, inspiration? It's like, all right, so I don't listen to Nirvana, right? But, like, Lil Wayne was my favorite rapper. That's how I found out about Kurt Cobain, because Lil Wayne said Kurt Cobain was, like, his idol. Mm-hmm. But Lil Wayne was on, like, some corny shit. I know he was. He was it was around the time he was on that Rebirth shit, where he can oh, rock God. shit. You didn't like that? No, I didn't like that. <laughs> Me neither. I, I had somebody sitting in here the other day talking about how legendary the Rebirth album was. I was like, yeah, all right, whatever you say. But um, this dude, um, yeah, Kurt, I started watching like hella documentaries. I watch all the documentaries, searching on YouTube. It's like Sid Vicious. I just like, 
Like, I just, it was around the time. You like Sid Vicious too? I read a yeah. fucking book about the Sex Pistols a little while too. back. And then, like, around this time, like, like around this time, last year, I got to the hospital, I just started, like, relating. Like, I just felt like I was relating to it. It was like self destruction. It was like, I just felt like. I'm a little bit closer, sorry. I just felt like it was like really relating to self destruction. Like, right. It's like, I. F- well, I just. Are you in a period of self destruction in general, would you say? Or is that something that you feel, feel like, like you're past? I feel like I'm always gonna be in a period of self destruction. Like, well, what is I what guess. is life? That's what we're meant to yeah, do is destruct at the end exactly. of it, right? I feel like so that's why people not be doing what I'm saying like all these demons in me, like type shit. Like it's not no fucking demon, bro. I'm a God fearing kid, type God fearing man, just a son, whatever. But, mm-hmm. but like it's like. It's a metaphor for like vices, for like my vices, like drugs, bitches. These bitches are the devil. Mm-hmm. I, these drugs are the devil. You are you bad saying? with the bitches? Am I bad with them? In the sense that like, does it have a detrimental effect on your life because you're fucking spending too much time dealing with them? Not really. But like, when I like a bitch, I really like a bitch. But, and I'm, it just, and your know, music is just it's personification. Like, it's not about the bars. Like, it is, but it's just, like, relating to people. So, like, mm-hmm. making people think you vulnerable. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, make, like I don't do Zans, but I still can rap, like, about Zans because, like, like, showing your vulnerability to people. Like, they really... It's the really, most relatable yeah, topic they relate that to people. there is. So, like, so when people come up to me and he's, like, these kids, like, like, then they're tearing up. And they, you feel me? They come to my producer tearing up, like, you know, this shit is, oh, that's what this is for. That's what this is about because mm-hmm. you relate to it. So you think that kids really, like, get that, like, it's so obvious that you're under the influence in some of your music that kids just, like, relate to that shit directly and just feel that it completely describes, like, what they're dealing with? You say what? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just rambling. But uh, mm-hmm. do you feel like kids, like, really completely just, like, view your music as, like, a manifestation of your addiction at times and that, that the, that's why those songs mean bro, so much to them? Bro, I'll show you my DMs right now, bro. Yeah, what's that like? Bro, my DMs open. Bro, I swear to God, like, not even trying to brag on this. Cause it's, but, like, because I be feeling bad. I can't, I don't, be, I don't be want to reply to all of them. But mm-hmm. um, I swear to God, like, every day it's somebody DM me, like, yo, your music changed your, my life. Like, I don't think it's no, like, not even saying like that's something to, like have up your sleeve, but I don't think there's no rapper, or like it don't even matter. But the only ever it actually don't matter. I just don't, that shit is just crazy. People tell me that shit so much that your music changed my life. That shit happens to me every day. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers tell me that either somebody tell me they almost is about to kill themselves, and my music helping them get through their time period. It's I swear to God, bro. Like, but one moment though, what really kind of got me is because this kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I I met my fans, and when I be around my fans, some of them really be inspired by me type shit. Like, mm-hmm. we know this. Like, one of my homies, he really like and like, inspired. Like, he really be like doing like living by that shit. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, uh, this one kid he like died. There off, was a big fan of you. Yeah, he all died off the um, bars and shit. Shit had me tweaked out, cause. That shit had me tweaked out, bro. Was that recently? It was like in around the summer too, so it was around that time, like you know, like, like after, the, like when I was like, is it, is that something that you deal with? Is like realizing uh, the the effect of your? It was on that time. I mean, I'm gonna come clean, really deaf. My man just died, like, like uh, my homie man just died, but like, like you know, how, like well, it's really my man's too. It's like. How'd he die? It's like I'm, like, it's like, I, like, it's not like, it's not like I'm just claiming a nigga that's dead. It's like they, they both got killed. It's like he like a friend. Like we ain't really get along, but it's like a friend of the guys. So it's like he one of the pe- one of my people. Uh-huh. So it's like and my other man got killed a week before that. John Walt, you know, from Pivot. Damn, so you surrounded. Pivot. So like surrounded by death lately, huh? The crib. Yeah, and I really. Growing up in life, besides sixth grade when my little, my man's got killed, besides that, I really ain't really grew up, like, been around, like, I've been around people dying, but I really ain't know how to deal with that situation. I've been be numb to it. My grandfather just died, and I really, it's weird, it's weird, because I'm like, uh, I really ain't even, like, I was waiting to feel something about it. Mm. And I, I, cause I thought, I'm like, it ain't even the drugs fuck with my emotion. Cause I can't even, sometimes you can't with a bitch. I don't really fuck with a bitch for a long time period. 
And then I won't even be able to fuck with her. And then for some reason, I just won't fuck with her. I just, and I know I know that's the drugs, because Zans, that shit really actually fuck with your emotions. Oh, yeah. yeah Zans so, could trick you yeah. into thinking you like a girl no, real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, just fuck with your emotions. So, um, and, uh, so when I was sober and that shit happened, I'm like, I don't really know how to feel about that shit. And now this shit just happened, and shit been kind of funny. So I instantly just, just went to L.A. It's crazy, but I was going to come back out here anyway. Shit just funny. I mean, not funny, but shit just weird. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shit. So do you feel like... Is that, I don't even know how I got to that. <laughs> no, I'm just talking about like the, the, the influence that your music could have on kids and like how that makes you want to change or manipulate your art, you know? like. No, nah, I'm never going to manipulate that shit. I'm never going to change that shit. Right. I'm never going to see myself on some positive shit, bro. Right. Earl told me... Earl gave me hella advice, bro. So, so how'd you so meet Earl? Because a lot of kids were asking about that, too. I want to know how that relationship came about. It's so fucking crazy. But, like, we're going to get to that. Let me <laughs> were you a fan me, of him? Me. Okay, whatever. I'm a big fan of Earl since, I was, since I, like, freshman year. And that's how you became uh, in, in conversation is because you were a fan? Nah, he tweeted my song. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's crazy because that, that's, that, um, what, that, that April, like, it was the year, like, April 24th. Whatever year, I don't eat, I don't like shit. I don't go outside. I came out. He um, right. He tweeted. He tweeted my video, and it was so crazy. I didn't know him, right? But this was so crazy, bro. I promised the guy you can ask any bitch I was fucking with around that time. I was like a little. It's before I made the song Low Life. I was listening to hella Max B. I don't know why I was depressed. Max B. Yeah, it was a lot of Max B, but the Low Life is is a Max B sample. I sampled that myself. I made oh, really? it be myself. I gotta go but, revisit that. Then. Um, People the, don't even know about Max B anymore. Yeah, they don't. They don't that really was back be in the day, really. When you think about it, but, he might be out of jail soon. I saw something yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking. Cr if he gets out of jail, it's gonna be wild as fuck. <laughs> I don't even know what the because I, I had already like written him off in my head. Like I guess it's over. Like he's in fucking jail for yeah, seventy yeah, years. Too. Yeah, exactly, exactly. What do you do? But That's crazy. Saying, uh, but so okay, so you and Earl, like, what kind oh, yeah, of conversations yeah, yeah. y'all be having? Uh, this nigga, um, oh, my bad, I'll, I'll, I'll probably be talking too slow. But um, this cool. nigga was, um, this nigga really was like, just telling me, like, he be telling me that, like, giving me, like, really, he ain't never really tell me to slow down on the drugs. He was just like, yo, perspective. The biggest thing he, the best thing he ever told me was. I was like, what to like? What about when you can't write about shit? He was like, write about your perspective on everything. It was like a news report on your life mm -hmm. type shit. That's exactly what he told me. It, I mean, yeah, that's the only that's type of advice that ever stuck with me in my whole like life. And ever since then, that's why I be. So when I'm rapping about, like, I'm gonna take watch my back coming out. That's why I'm rapping about what I'm rapping about right now: drugs and bitches. But, if, but that's interesting that he says write about yourself as if you were like a news reporter because I really do think that some of the best rap music is written by stuff like guys who are looking at themselves from an outside perspective and describing their their own lives and not from like the me perspective but like they're observing themselves sort of like from above right 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 exactly and that's like like when when people talk about like how great Nas was that was like his real gift I think the, the on Illmatic was that he was talking about himself like from the outside in you know somebody told me almost almost this old nigga said this or if I heard this in that documentary <laughs> but um somebody was like it's like when you listen to Nas it's like you um it's like you look it's like I feel like you it's like the vision is you looking outside of a window through the mm -hmm. projects. Yep. Yeah, that's like, and a lot of the greats, that's what they say about Kendrick. That's what they say about fucking, I don't know, just reporters. That's like who it's all about. Hey, I wanted to know, how, how, how do you know Cardi? How'd that song come about? Yeah, Cardi used to, um, Cardi, first nigga, well, well, maybe, well, nah, I came to LA before that, but I came to LA, I was staying with him, that's how I got mixed in with uh, Rocky and shit. Well, I knew Rocky before Cardi. I met Rocky through Cardi, actually. So how long ago was this? It's that... like first South by. I, met, I knew Cardi since the like, last South, South by? No, 2015 South by, like before oh, okay. Broke Boy came out. Me and Cardi used wow. to be like, hey, used to, um, Ian, Ian and him, like we used to call us twins and shit. Oh, like, okay. Like before Cardi, before, uh, before like, um, before like what and shit came out. But like, we were still, yeah, we were still rocking because I did the left, right to so her, like, he's got Supreme boxers on, just just for the so the fans <laughs> nah, know. Not even, not even. <laughs> Fit check. Not even. I got um, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, I did it for like first 
two days to the, I think at the left, right tour with him. So then around that time, I still rock with Uno. Uh huh. But me and Cardi really don't rock like that. You don't talk anymore? No, we don't really talk like that. Ain't never, ain't never really enough. We don't really rock like that. I still, Uno, my brother forever. Yeah, love Uno. So I need my brother. Everybody, I rock with Ian. Yeah, you still Rocky. cool with Ian? Yeah, I was just at Ian crib the other day. Really? Rocky, my man. How's Ian doing? He ain't good. He ain't getting money. Yeah, that's what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't getting money. It's so got to be weird being in his no position trick. because he's still getting stupid money, but then like his whole like public image, it's like I, I was at a, a party one time and like these bitches were fucking trying to fight him and shit. Like he's just got like this whole cloud hanging above his head the way people act about him now. Oh my god, I ain't even dick eating though. These bitches are trying to fight him, right? I go to the crib, bro. Niggas retarded. This nigga, this nigga's still obnoxious and all that. What? This is a bitch, badass <laughs> bitch in his bed. And he's yeah. just talk, he talking about, and he's just like, lucky, hey, didn't you fuck this bitch? Yeah, so talking about, we, we talking about bitches we fucked. Same bitch we fucked. And Ignorant. This is a bitch laying in his bed. So. Ian, Ian and Connor never change. Bitches <laughs> don't hit him that much. I mean, then, <laughs> Hell no, I bet he still kills it. And then, he got Kylie Jenner wearing his shit. I want to. I want to know how that happened. I want to know what the fuck happened Kanye, exactly. Bro, it's like a chess game. Bro, this shit is chess, bro. It's wild, right? This shit, it's not about no motherfucking. It can't. This shit is chess, bro. So you want? It's not about no motherfucking with a, a Twitter, a Twitter right. nigga or a Twitter bitch think what they. It's not about no motherfucking hashtag. You know what I'm saying? This shit, is, this shit is chess, bro. The, the greats gonna succeed. Hey, so you out here making moves in LA now though? Are you like pulling up on people and like out here trying to network and like really? Are you? Are you, are you <laughs> I used up? to be on that shit. I've been on that, but nah, that's quite. Or are you in the crib? You're, you're posted I'm in up the studio with the drink. And I'm in the crib. Yeah, I, ain't, I got everything I need. Because that's like LA, once you get out here, that's what you can start doing is you can start running up on everybody all the time and just be Mr. Networking Guy. Yeah, but yeah, that's cool though. I don't know if you want to nah, go down that road. Be, yeah. Road. Niggas be out here. Nah, I'm not really black when niggas out here. Man. These niggas don't even. These niggas not even cut from the same cloth as me. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Ah, uh, but niggas like. I rock with a few of these niggas out here, but niggas not really cut from the same cloth as me. I might even even get my time. And then we don't even move the same way. Niggas mm-hmm. be on little shit. I'm on big shit. What like, do you mean? Like niggas move with like. I can't bring. Forty dollars worth of weed. They're they're nah, going to nah, buy forty dollars nah, nah, worth nah, of weed. Ain't even about that. I just can't bring. I can't even bring them. Little puppies around big, big puppies. Mm-hmm. Big dogs. Around big, yeah, big dogs because <laughs> I said big puppies. I can't even bring around little puppies around big dogs because they can't even eat the same food we take. We eat like type shit. They what, can't even breathe the same air. Like, what are you planning like right now for like your next time you put music out? Like, are you are you are you planning on making a big splash? Are you in a different state of mind right now compared to like yeah, you know, recently? Uh, shit, some shit about the um, drop. Believe you, shit about the um um. Oh no, I probably shouldn't even say it. Oh. But um, hell, it's hell. Yeah, shit happened. And shit lined up. I got my management together. I let. Uh, I got. I got. I got a team put together. So it's all. It's all like damn. I'm like damn unloaded. Sitting on too much music. Yeah. Making too much music. Dude, you know how one of the creepiest things happened listening to you today on SoundCloud? For some reason, there's one song, and it's only a minute and forty-seven seconds long, and it plays. And then at the very end of the song, it just repeats like the last like three seconds of the song over and over and over, like infinitely. And we were sitting there in the car and we listened to it for like five minutes straight before my homeboy was like, yo, this shit is just replaying over and over. It's the same line over and over. And I was like, what the fuck it is? Yeah, shit, well, I don't know if I can recreate it by like trying to get my phone to do it again. I'm going to try actually when I get home. Shit been creeping me out like that shit. Wow. That's creepy. Your SoundCloud is like fucking, your SoundCloud is on Zans. <laughs> it's repeating itself. I think I'm way too funny for just thinking that up right there. Um, God, is there anything? Okay. They were asking about, they were asking Ferrella. about Absol. They were asking about Ferrella Danny Brown. Huh? Yeah, do one more. Fuck it. They were asking about Danny Brown, who I know you went on tour with. I was listening to the collab today. That shit was crazy. As long as I'm just gonna keep naming off all the funny Danny shit. Brown. I was watching that Where interview. Goes, with, yeah, that'd be easy, bro. That interview on Riot Fest at Riot Fest, That's and you're crazy. just straight up like, I am addicted to Xanax. <laughs> you just told the motherfucker, and he sounded so like I proper. To, I was listening to that shit the other day. I was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. Was you're like, I'm off the Molly right now. I could hear it in your voice. You're like, grr, grr. I, I was trolling and shit though, but I was like. That was too much. That shit was, and wasn't it like a Red Bull thing or something? Yeah. That's and funny. you just come out saying the craziest shit. Oh my god, shit. that was a Red Bull thing. <laughs> we were listening to that in the car today, fucking it's dying. Not OC. Huh? It's not OC. 
be honest. It sounded a little bit crazy. Well, just because you were just straight up like, I'm addicted to Xanax and I'm on Molly right now. And I was just like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> but it's so funny though, because that's like shit that, Fuck that motherfuckers shit. rap about it. So why not talk f- about it? Right, exactly. Matter of fact, I'd be embarrassed about that shit. Fuck that shit. Because it's like niggas, like that whole little thing stopped fucking with me because of that. But fuck that shit, bro. I don't need that shit, bro. Fuck it, be like, honest. Niggas like, yeah, fuck that shit. Everybody, because I feel like, I feel like that's why, I, like, I tweeted something today. They they lost faith in me. I'll never forget that. Did you feel like that for like, a while? They lost faith in me, bro. I was 17, bro. Niggas can't be t- Bro, niggas told me I was the best, bro. They told me I was the best, but they lost faith in me, bro. And then, it's crazy, bro, because the same niggas that lost faith in me was the same niggas that told me they was, they had, they had, they had, like, they, they did Zan before, too. It's all cool. Mm-hmm. And then, and they lost faith in me. Tried to blackball me, bro. You felt like you got shirt- Who blackballed you? Or bro, tried to? Well, nigga, they know who it is, bro. Really? Like, they know who it is, bro. But you can't do that to me, bro. I'm actually, I'm like, I probably sound, what you call it, my fans know, bro. I'm like, they know, bro, niggas really, like, this play, this this little thing, this little scene, they need me, bro. Fronto gang, look at this fucking thing. Like, it's like bro, a t-shirt. It's crazy, bro. Like, I, I actually, like, I don't, mumble rap, it's not even a fucking thing. Like, people, people like, make good music just based off melodics and shit. Like, I don't do that. I can do anything, bro. Like you can't, like, you can't blackball talent, bro. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You can't like you can't. I don't know, bro. You can't cast a spell on the devil. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like, why do you think people hate on you, though? I don't nah, understand. No, they don't hate on me, bro. They don't hate on me, bro. You see, you see, I was wilding off the of Zans, bro. They was just scared of me, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, and then, bro, n- niggas, people just know, like, this is like with the Ian situation, like, and I'm not saying, like, I'm not saying his people. Saying like 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 people from the outside that don't got nothing to do with it. When they know you smart, bro, they don't want you to. They, they really don't want you to win. It's like they, like it's not. It's not like they don't want you to win. I don't want that. It's not like they don't want you to win. It's like they really, they scared because they know. It's like when somebody, when certain people king, nobody else eat mm-hmm. because they set a they set a standard for other shit. If I set a standard, if I'm bro, bro if I'm like. If, say, if I was rapping how I was rapping, because I wasn't focused when I was off that shit, so I'm about taking a hell of time, but if I was, um, if I was how I was now back then, it'd be a standard, bro, none of that, none of that SoundCloud shit that, run, 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 hey, none of that shit would be acceptable type shit, because mm-hmm. they, I'm, I'm young, so like people think young people can't rap no more, that's what some people settling for. You think you're too good for the da 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 hey. <laughs> yeah, bro. Exactly, bro. Like, I made alternative trap and shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, not like I don't even listen to the show. I don't even like that shit, bro. Thirty year old white man, bro, come up, come up to me talking about that shit, bro. You feel me, bro? Yeah. Like that shit really set, but like, that shit like it was on some like pitchfork, like on hundred top mixtapes of the mille- mm-hmm. millennium, new millennium. Really? Yeah. Some That's something crazy. that was cra- like that, bro. Like. That's fucking I'm, wild. I'm dead ass, bro. Like, bro, when Earl dropped his album, bro, they compared his album to Alternative Trap, bro. Really? I didn't even know that, bro. And I was like, super fan of him, bro. And then he shouted my shit out. Yeah. Like, you feel me? That's like, crazy. He shouted like that's that tweaked me out. I was like, what the fuck? That tweaked me out. But so to some people, like, like no, I don't no, know. I how, was just doing that. No, it's fine. I don't. I don't know how you would describe how your music has changed, but to some people, I think that they, their opinion is that you went in more of a mumble rap direction and that you went in a more, a less coherent direction that's more just you being totally fucked up, guttural, saying whatever the fuck kind of shit comes into your head and that's it's less lyrical than the original project. But I feel like it's, it's you, you seem a lot more comfortable. When I listen exactly. to the, the old I, tape... I listen to this shit now. I don't listen to that old shit, bro. Right. But even back then when I heard that shit, it made me cringe, bro, because I'm always listening. I, I can hear the mistakes well and the chance influence is just huge too that you, you can me? see you that can, that's like what, exactly that's bro. what you thought you i i, I don't I, like i li- i feel i listen to this shit now we finna go to the studio after this i'm 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 gonna make some shit and i'm gonna listen to that shit who do you listen to besides yourself uh, uh, like that you see. could say that you actually like are influenced by or that you, future is my favorite oh my rapper, god the bro. new album right i saw you tweeting about it yeah future my it's favorite insane, rapper, right bro yeah future like <laughs> I've been listening to that I, shit like, nonstop. People talk about I don't know. I guess people, regular people, just listen for the for the bangers and shit. Bro. Right. That shit is that talk, bro. You gotta it's listen not, to what he's saying. New album, exactly. This new album is is fire on some rich nigga shit because he on some rich nigga shit. But this ain't he ain't talking that talk, bro. Uh-huh. That talk that bro that like 
What people don't understand. Sometimes bro. he he's a drugs, dude. You gotta bro. you gotta be on rap genius with with future sometimes because he really do be kind of mumbling and you can't tell what he's saying sometimes. But when you actually like really because sometimes it'll be like the second verse towards the end of the verse where all of a sudden he will just say the realest shit ever and just b- surprise the fuck out of you. Yeah, it's nah. It's like them. It's like that drug talk, bro. Exactly. It's like, bro, like, it's like, bro, like, like. Like even not that he's talking about that Percocet. It's just subtle shit. It's just like Percocet. the way he doing. Molly like, Percocet. It's like the funkadelic shit. Like that's what I tell people now. Even like, even that's why I fuck with like the like little Uzi because he like he don't he don't say bars, but it's like that fuck it. Like it's like because I could tell Uzi be fucked up. I only met Uzi once, but I could tell he be fucked up. So it's like that. It's like like what future like Percocet. Molly Perkins said, it's just like pure, it's just like pure, you want Uzi, like he, whenever he says something, it's like, he just screaming, like the perfect example, Almighty So, when he keeps just singing, and he was off the lean, it's just like the, like the Funkadelics, the old funk shit, when they used to get off heroin, and you should just say, it just, they didn't, they should just, like just record, they so just, like just sing, singing waves, it's just pure emotion, mm-hmm. that's exactly what this, that's exactly what this shit is, like, it's like, no matter if it sound like, that's what he sound like, Pink Molly, I can barely move. Like he freest you could tell he freestyling, but that's really what he on. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like that's like he feel that shit, make you feel like sometimes when I listen to music like that, like like it just run my emotions, I get goosebumps, bro, for real. You know, if you think about it like what is music all about? Music really is all about trying to find that one pure moment where you just hear somebody saying something so real or just sounding so passionate that you just know that in that moment that they were totally, like, one with themselves, you know? And, like, drugs are actually kind of like a shortcut for people to try to get to that state. And it's, like, like, like the same things, like, you know, people will go, go do acid and then they'll have, like, a discovery about themselves and they'll, they'll become, like, a totally different person. Or I'm going to be totally honest with you. There's been times in my life where I was, yeah, like... I fuck with you, bro. But I'm I fuck with you. Up, but I fuck with you, bro. I fuck with you, too. Yo, but, you know, you, you have moments in life, like, I've been gone off Molly before and seen a version of myself that was better than what I let am and then felt like I could be that person after you know like let the me, next day or let whatever let me tell you something Molly bro anybody that know am me am I getting deep <laughs> I feel like fucking Joe Rogan or some shit anybody that know me when I was a shorty bro no I was I used to have an intense dog phobia dog phobia yeah like I used to be and scared and you'd use Molly like, to get rid like, of it like the way like the way the way the way you know the way a female is scared of rats okay like like that's how I was with dogs I like, used to kind of be like that too even if actually. I touched them like it's disgusting I ain't understand them so, I was off Molly one time at this party. I was with Save Money. My nigga, my nigga Jay. See, I told like it's really some niggas from Save Money that raised me, bro. Like Ugly Eddie. He be, like he be like some behind the scenes niggas. Like Lil Eddie, Ugly Eddie, like J K. Like you feel me? Like 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 niggas from High Park. Like like I swear to God. So we was off. We was at this party. We was fucked up and there's this pretty ass girl. She had this dog. I remember and uh. I'm like, I'm just fucked up. My eyes rolling hard as hell, bro. Like, like I was, that's why I was rolling hard as fuck. I like, I just be have a dog phobia, and I'm like, I knew the bitch. I'm trying to talk to her. I'm like, yo, let me see your dog. And I'm, and I'm, I'm holding the dog, no problem, bro. I'm trying to tell you my whole life, bro. Bro, I used to, bro, I used to beat niggas up for trying to chase me with their dogs, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like, for real? Yeah, bro. And you just think that shit was funny, bro. I used to really, because then you just think I, 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 I want to actually scare the dogs. Right. And they're like fake, like chase me with a dog. And I used to start fighting niggas over that shit. Yeah, I never had a dog when I was a kid, I, so. I got over it since, ever since then, Just from bro. that one time. I swear to God. And what were you on at the time? Molly, bro. Oh, yeah, there you go. Molly. So. Like, I'm dead serious. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking crazy, man. Yeah, I don't know. There's, like, I had an acid trip with the like maybe six months ago or some shit. That it was just like, man, I gotta move out and get my because I was living with all my homies. I was like, man, I gotta move out and get my own spot and move my store I to a. Acid. Oh, you didn't like it? You try yeah. it? Shit, be, shit, fa- changing your face. Yeah, it's shit, fucking disgusting. intense. It's like, yeah, I, don't, I can't do that. You know I what? I, I can't do no hallucinations. Last time I did acid, I fucked up though because I didn't have a fucking Zan to come down with, so I ended up having. <laughs> yeah, a, I heard that smart to do it. I was yeah. laying in bed till like eight, nine in the morning, mm-hmm. questioning my fucking existence. Oh, so, so, so Zan can't. Um, <laughs> There's other times though that where I did acid and then like just took a Zan at like four in the morning, went to sleep, woke up, felt, felt fine. That shit was too. As I tried to eat some bread, it was my time to be bread to eat that, eat that the acid. That shit was um, food bouncing around in my mouth. Like, that shit was crazy. I did mushrooms with Xavier Wolf and he almost burnt my house down. <laughs> he took a blunt roach and put it on top of a plastic in and out cup. Xavier Wolf and, 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 and
Chris Travis and Eddie Baker, them one, some of the most humblest niggas in the game. Those are my dudes. That's why them niggas going so crazy because they really deserve that shit. Because mm-hmm. they do everything they self. They was just telling about that shit. They some some of the most humble niggas in this shit, bro. Their shit is crazy because they don't get any love from the media or anything, but their fan base is yeah, crazy yeah, as fuck. Like that's crazy. Ain't that Nobody crazy? Nobody support. Yeah, they, yeah. they don't have any label shit. They don't have any fucking blogs that write about them. Bones puts out a mixtape. No, nobody but, writes um, about Chris, it. Chris, Chris, Chris really do all his own shit. And their numbers are stupid. Yeah. Stupid. Stupid, Xavier's bro. numbers are crazy. He was the first rapper that I was ever friends with. He's the first rap podcast I ever did, actually. Forever. Yeah. One more wood going down. One more wood, one more wood. <laughs> I've probably smoked bad. about a fucking trillion woods this weekend. My throat is feeling like a fucking no, bag of dicks. I ain't doing the woods no more. That's, that's the, um, that's the oh, gravity. it's Fronto. Fronto yeah, gang all day. Yeah, yeah, I ain't fucking with the woods no Wait, more. But can you leave that open like that? You don't have to fucking keep them yeah, super right, dry? Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're okay. right. Because that's like the thing with woods. You take them out for fucking 30 seconds, all of a sudden they're dry. Mm-hmm. I rolled one last night. <laughs> what, you do that? Nah, just be cool. I fuck with you. I rolled one last night, and then when I woke up in the morning, the fucking wood was so brittle that it like fell apart in my friend's pocket while we were walking out the hotel lobby. So that was harsh. I don't know. Fucking. Um, is there something else they ask you? Is there anything else we should? Oh, in terms of the fans? Hmm. Let's see if we got anything else that they mentioned. I only wrote down like three of them. Oh well, people were asking you about Draco the Ruler. You have a relationship oh, with him? Oh shit, that's crazy. We didn't. Yeah, he's, he's I still be locked always up. Always playing shit on my Snapchat and all that. Oh ah, okay. I be, I f- bro, that's one of my favorite rappers right now. Yeah. I know he can flow, bro. He's got a fucking wave that he's coming back to when he gets out. Yeah, I hope he get out. Yeah, hopefully. I don't know. I don't, I don't even remember what the fuck the situation is, but I heard people talking about it sounding serious. Yeah, I hope he get out. Hey, so okay, Danny Brown. Were you a, were you a fan of Danny Brown before? You went on tour with him or collabed with him? I was a fan of a few songs. I, I fought with him. But Danny Brown was the first nigga that really injured. Like, Danny Brown, them. I went on that tour when I was with the Red Bull shit. I went on there. Andrew Barber went with me. Mm-hmm. Pluto went with me. And it was so, that whole camp, the Bruise Brigade, was so, it was like so welcoming, bro. So, like, when I first, so when I started coming out to LA, I really didn't know, really, I thought that, I was like, my, cause my perception on that, I was like 16, I went on that tour, so I'm like, everybody was so real, and I'm like, I'm like, damn, I don't know what niggas be talking about, that um, music industry not phony, so when I came out here, that shit was such a surprise and shit, mm-hmm. like, so that's why I used to be so gullible out here. So, you got that song done with him, though, that shit was crazy, I'm like a that monster was, Danny Brown fan, like, like, he's one shit, of the that greatest. Shit, that, that shit was like, I don't like that song. Like, you don't like that one? No, that shit was... Cause it was a long time ago, no, huh? No, 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 That shit was like, niggas got paid for that. That shit was through Red Bull. Oh. Okay. I, niggas, I got flew out to New York for that shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. But you just didn't like the way it came out? Mm-hmm. I really didn't. It took us like years to find a beat. Um, I don't like that shit. I don't even understand why Red Bull just pays dudes to make songs. Like how that works. It's yeah. interesting to me. Yeah. I don't really, I Somebody got to put me on the business shit. side of things. Red Bull, funny. I don't even want to talk about that. Well, you don't, they don't fuck with you anymore or something? Not even the fact they don't fuck with me. Cause I don't even know. I don't even care about that shit. But it just, just I don't know, the way they just did it was so funny. I'm like lovingly holding a can of Red Bull even though they are not paying for me to do so. And I just paid like $3 for this right now. Shout out to Red Bull, who I'm not sponsored by. Yeah, shout out to Red Bull. But <laughs> if you could be sponsored by any company, who would it be? Activist. <laughs> You bring him back from the grave. Bring him back, activist. <laughs> oh man, how's the lean scene these days? No, I don't know what niggas be on. Niggas be drinking fake lean out here. Yeah, I heard you almost. Uh, somebody tried to jug you earlier. Boy, let me tell you. <laughs> you, follow, you follow me on Instagram? Uh, I don't follow anybody on Instagram, but uh, look at your cool ass. Twitter, man. man. Twitter all day. Uh, I mean, but look, so I go. Um, I tweet the other day. Yesterday, I'm trying to find some drink. Cause I don't know, I never be looking for no lane out here. See, I only fuck with rappers who are not too big to ask for drink on Instagram or Twitter. One, as soon as you think you're too famous to, to ask for drugs on Twitter, it's over. You're mainstream. Get the fuck out. But exactly, bro. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. I don't like doing it either because but, it make it. I feel like it makes you look weird. I don't like doing that shit, but like that's why I did it. But like, check me out. Check me out. I, Cause I don't never be, need to look for no. Like I never need to look for weed. That's retarded. But I don't never need to be looking for no um lean. Mm-hmm. Like none, no Under drugs. Um, so we, um, I go, I link up with this, um, this girl. Like, yeah, I got it. I'm, so I'm looking at, her, I'm like, like she do drugs. Like she, like some Zenex girl. 
And, um, She's like, Thanks, girl. Yeah, so my type. Like, I like it. So um, she come out. She's like, I want my mask. Some black kid with some Doc Martens on. You know how them type of kids is. Mm-hmm. You know how they about me. Um, look like some XSX fans. Oh, look boy. Like, you know, like uh, free, free X. But That's a no jumper fan right there. Yeah, but you know, exactly. <laughs> free yeah. X, but you know what I'm talking about. Got FTP so, shirt um, on or we something. We go, we come up. So I'm, my Uber was already tripping because I ain't had my Uber account. I just got my Uber back. I come back today. And my man's Uber was tripping. So his, his the dude was like, the Uber driver was really like wild and like acting like a retard. <laughs> So by the time we picked them up, he like, we just get out at the gas station. She like, yeah, I got an Uber. Her shit instantly dubbed, bro. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? But she told me I was to put a piece on my shit. You know how LA kids rocking. Mm-hmm. So, dude, we waiting five minutes for the Uber, for another Uber. And then um, we get there. We get to the gas station with dude with the lean. It's this um, Hispanic kid looking sketchy as hell. As soon as I see him, like, oh. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Something I already knew it was up. Like, um, he and this nigga in the car. I won't worry about nothing. Um, we um, I walk up and um, I'm like, I see this shit already, bro. It's like, bro, lean is purple, bro. But yeah, niggas know what type of purple it is, bro. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like a, it's like a purple, like a see throughish purple, like you know what I'm saying? Like it, it shouldn't, it ain't no flat purple, like mm. you, you know what I'm saying? So I saw it. Already, he like he know you know how niggas be thinking they you know how niggas know they finna sell to a girl they finna jug or especially some lean, so he's thinking he's selling oh, to a bitch. Okay, yeah, yeah. So he like he told her she he had some walk because I was sick of the tech. I'm sick of I was sick of that shit. Mm-mm. I was trying to trade it and I was trying to just get some walk. I, I'm like I'm on a phone. It was already funny already. Cause she always jug, always rip off the girl. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's how it be. So I'm like yeah hey um. Uh, I'm like, um, I'm gonna clean it up, but I was like, um, what the fuck? I, w- I walk out, I'm like, yeah, so she, as soon as he see it, as soon as she, as soon as she see with a, she with a nigga, he like, oh yeah, it's some, um, quality, bro, it's some, it's some quality, um, I mean, my man told me it was some walk, but I just smelled it, it's some quality. I'm like, <sighs> so I'm like, cause it was already, I was finna give him like 160 for, I already knew it was funny, cause I was finna give him like 140 for a foe. But like it's not even like I don't like it's the only reason I did it because she told me like if she would have told me he was doing one forty for the four like before I, before I went to her I would have um I would have just done it but she was like um she told me it was like one forty for the um, he told me it was one forty one um like in the car and shit so I'm like all right so I'm like all right this shit I don't know she was like she's like he only doing it like that because we getting it in a bunch I'm like all right that's still not real but all right. I, but so I got there and I just see the shot, I shake it. I, I'm like, what is this, bro? I'm like aggressive as hell with it. I he I, he I smell it. I'm just looking. I'm like, bro, come on, bro. <laughs> I'm like, I swear, to, I'm like, he looking because he already knew I was gonna know because yeah, I remember he told it was quality. Right. I'm like, bro, quality and watch collar do not smell like this, bro. He he ain't even say that. He just was embarrassed and felt stupid. I'm like, I almost threw that shit in his face. You feel me? But I'm like. I'm like, no, no, it's probably his hood or something. Like, probably, probably, probably. Wait, so is it totally fake? Bro, it was, bro, it was, bro. Come on, bro. It wasn't even like, <laughs> it wasn't even like no good, like re- no good fake. I realized while you were telling the story that I'm totally a person who could be the victim of getting ripped off in that way because nah, I ain't got no I fucking palate for I lean s- yet. <laughs> bro, I promise you wouldn't have bought that shit. Like, really? You, would, you, like, you wouldn't have bought that shit, bro. It Thank was you like, for having that faith like, in me. It was, <laughs> nah, nah, not like that. Like, anybody wouldn't have bought <laughs> oh, okay. that shit. Like, anybody it wouldn't have bought that shit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, are you serious, bro? He looking because he thinking I'm going to smack his ass or something. Because I'm, I'm like, bro, he was like little. He was like, I'm like, bro, I'm like, I was finna, like, bro, get your ass on, bro. I just gave him that shit. Like, but I gave it to him hard as hell, like, because I almost finna throw the shit. Walk back to the car. She keeps saying sorry. I'm just like, man, it's call. I was just like, this is before I got my Uber. So back, I'm a man. Go call the Uber back to the um, I told the hotel. She kept telling, call the Uber back, call the Uber back. She keeps saying sorry. I'm like, all right, bro. I'm about to throw ass on. That shit pissed me off, bro. Damn. Well, hey, at least she <laughs> didn't get ripped off. Like, I, when you no, re- that shit wasted my time, bro. Yeah. That shit pissed me off. But then instantly, my my man's called me instantly after. I was happy as mm-hmm. fuck. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. All's well that ends well. I was happy as fuck. That's what my plan is for 2017 is I'm trying to transfer out of podcasting and just become like a lean dealer. That's the way. That's the new way. <laughs> you come in here, I just got a whole fucking drawer full of pints. That's the way. There we brother. go. 
we get, we get in interviews and just getting robbed after. Exactly. Nah, yo, I know this fool who's like he's from like the UK and he's such a fucking cokehead and like he, we were at Vegas for this like trade show thing and he bought five hundred dollars worth of coke and the shit ended up being fake. So he ended up snorting it anyway, even though it was fucking bullshit. Really? He fucking he wanted he was so thirsty for coke that he just did it all. I think it's wild. <laughs> yeah, that's some white boy shit. That's um, all right. You want to wrap this up? Give, yeah, give me the give me the lay down. Let me tell or the lowdown. Let me, tell me what is happening. What we need to look forward to. The people out there. I feel like a lot of people need to watch this interview. I hope motherfuckers hear this conversation we just had because it was pretty fun. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I like this shit. You, I fuck you, with bro. you too, man. Hey, bro, I'm gonna come clean. I thought she was gonna be on like some sarcastic jokes, or bullshit. Hell no. no but yeah, no. I'm no, just no, all no, about. No. I, I just want to no, support no, no, the I kids. See, I see how you come at certain people, but. Because some people do be coming at you funny, bro. Like, niggas just be coming, like, crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with the Chicago <laughs> kids, man. I know about <laughs> nah, y'all. you know what I mean, though? No, you know what I mean, though. Niggas be coming at you, like, niggas be coming at you weird. Yeah. But I fuck with you, bro. Like, you, like, because, like, I'm going to come clean niggas could call you a culture vulture. <laughs> I don't know like, fuck. Like, nah, nah, not even, though. <laughs> not even. It's all it is, bro. Like, because now I see you and I talk to you, bro, because this is the first time we met, bro. I just see you. Re- you actually care about this shit, bro? Like, Hell yeah. You just be on the... You should be wanting to know shit, bro. bro. That's why he started the podcast. I'm more even like, I swear, just being out in Vegas and just seeing Carnage and seeing how passionate that fool is no, still about finding cool, out bro. about new music and shit. And we just sat there for like three hours and he just put me on to hell of shit, playing me all this unreleased shit. And then he's like, who do you, who you got? Who you got? No, now I'm sitting here feeling bad that I, I mean, he probably already know about you, but I should have played your shit for him too. But I mean, that's just like, that's what it is. Like, I love just sitting around and seeing like, Rap videos from fucking people just like like if I was gonna sit here with you if you weren't going to the studio I'd be like all right show me show me your shit show me the homies from your neighborhood or whatever exactly, that that exactly. got some dope shit that's got five thousand views you know that's bro. that's that's how you know someone real gives a fuck about music you know that's how we rocking bro like, that's twenty seventeen hey, bro when I, when I play, on YouTube when I play music bro I feel chills bro like niggas don't I like. Niggas rap, bro. Niggas like, I guess niggas like the fame. Niggas like that aspect of this shit. But I really love music. Mm-hmm. That sounds corny as hell. But well, you I got really something love to say. Music shit, bro. Like, you real. got the soul of an artist, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. bro. That's probably the best way that I could put it. All right, look, ex. Oh, and, and that's the other one thing I want to say. Is, yeah, are, nah, are, we, are we switching to the X? Please, bro. Because I know a lot of y'all gonna watch this interview. Okay, it's officially. I know y'all X. like me as a kid, Lucky X, bro. But please stop calling me Lucky X. You're over. Then it. y'all be calling me Lucky X. Like my, it was Lucky X with the money sign. Like. I had my shit like Flacco. Right. But, bro, but you can't change it now because your Twitter is permanently fucking stuck like that, right? Lucky. No. You, you switched the Twitter? My ain't been Lucky X. But I been, yeah, my Twitter was never Lucky X. Oh, okay. Bro, I promise. Please stop calling me Lucky X. My name is Lucky, like all capital. Thank you. Like, uh, we did no jumper finally. 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 I'm happy. I'm out. Peace. Peace. YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes. Let's get it. YouTube, okay. SoundCloud, Try to Legends. get me with that. God, we just fucked that up so know. bad. That's, LA, that's how LA people shake up hands. I yeah, just, yeah. I thought you, you know what I'm talking about? No, but you guys, you're the that's thing where you point shit. the fingers up. What is that? Yeah, I don't know. That's some LA shit. I just be doing is it. Is it? Whenever I be going back to the crib, I be doing the knees. Like, what the fuck you doing? God, there's nothing worse than an awkward handshake with a cool black guy. <laughs> White guys got to live through that all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just do the wrong thing with your hand. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's never a moment where you feel more sure that you're not invited to the cookout than that moment. <laughs> All right. We out. All Lucky right, eggs. Right. Get on a SoundCloud right now, bitches. All Peace. Right, Oh.